Today we are reading chapter 7 and 8 of Junie B. Jones is Captain Field Day by Barbara Park. Chapter 7, Skunked. The skipping race came next. Room 9 chose our fastest skippers. Their names were Charlotte, Jamal Hall, that Gracie, Lenny, and Minnie Jim. Those people can skip like lightning, I tell you. I made up a cheer for them. Its name was Go Skippers. Here are the words to it. Go Skippers, Go Skippers, Go Skippers, Go Skippers. I cheered real loud in front of room eight because I really thought we would win this one. Only what do you know? We didn't. Some of our skippers cried a little bit. We got skunked, said Lenny, very sniffling. Skunked means our score is a goose egg, said Jamal Hall. A goose egg is a big fat zero, said that Grace. A big fat zero is when you're stinking up the place, said Meanie Jim, very glum. Mrs. did not like that kind of talk. Hey, 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 that's enough of that, she said. I'm very proud of all of you. You did your best, and that's all anyone can ask. Right, Junie B? Yes, I said. Plus, also a win would be nice. I sat down. Mrs. looked at me a real long time. The tug of war is the next event, she said finally. How about another cheer from our team captain to get us charged up? No, thank you, I said. I already did a cheer for the skipping team, and look where that got us. Mrs. made squinty eyes at me. Try, she said. I stood up. Raw, I said. Thank you, said Mrs. I sat back down. All of us lined up for the tug of war. Room eight held onto one side of a rope, and room nine held onto the other side. Mrs. tied a bow right in the middle of it. Then she drew a line on the ground in front of each team. Okay, people, she said. Whichever team pulls the bow over the line is the winner. Is everyone ready? Yes, 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 shouted room eight. Room nine just looked at her. William was behind me. I'm not that good at the tug of war, Junie B., he whispered. I never even did the tug of war before. Join the club, bud, I grunt. After that, the room eight teacher blew her whistle and both our teams started to pull. Room nine pulled and pulled with all our strength. People, people, we're doing it, we're doing it, I shouted very shocked. We pulled some more. Then, all of a sudden, we heard a loud holler. It was strong Frankie. He yanked the rope as hard as he could. Then Lenny and Ricardo fell down in the grass, and the bow went over the line. Room eight went crazy and happy. They were loud and laughing. Room nine walked to the water fountain, very sad. Then we sat down next to the building, and we didn't talk for a real long time. Finally, Mrs. came and got us. Come on, boys and girls. There's just one more event to go, she said. She took us to the pull-up bar. The room eight teacher smiled real big. All right, everybody, it's time for the pull-up contest, she said. Polly Allen Buffer stared at her. Big whoop, he said. Then the room eight teacher tattled on him, and Polly Allen Buffer had to sit by himself for a time out. Mrs was not happy with us. Okay, children, I understand that you're not in a good mood, but one of the things we learn in field day is to never give up. Room nine is not a bunch of quitters. Are we, Junie B? I looked at room nine's faces. Pretty much, I said. Mrs. threw her hands in the air. Okay, that's it, she said. I'm not going to take no for an answer. There must be someone in room nine who has the spirit to keep trying. Which one of you children has the courage to not to give up? Hmm? How about you, Jamal? Will you try to do a pull-up for that team? She asked. 
Jamal Hall pulled his shirt up over his face so no one could see him. I believe that's a no, I said. Mrs. looked around some more. Grace, she said, how about you? Will you try to do a pull-up for us? No, I can't, she said. I really, really can't. I'm only strong in my feet. I'm not, yelled a loud voice. I'm strong all over my whole body. Room nine turned around. It was strong Frankie again. He made another arm muscle at us. I stomped my foot at that guy. Stop doing that, Frankie, I hollered. Stop tooting your own horn, because that is not even polite. And anyway, room nine has strong people too. We have people who can do a jillion pull-ups, in fact. So there, ha, strong Frankie crossed his muscle arms. Like who, he asked. I put my hands on my hip. Like lots of people, that's who. Like, um, well, like, like. Just then, a boy from room nine raised his hand a teeny bit. Like me, he said. Then he walked right up to the pull-up bar, and he stood there all by himself. I did a gasp. <gasps> then the other children get, did gasp, too. Because what do you know? It was William. Chapter 8 William. All of room nine kept on staring and staring at that boy. Look at his little arms, whispered that Grace. Where are his little muscles, do you think? William doesn't have any little muscles, said Polly Allen Puffer. I've seen the wind blow him down on that playground. Yeah, said Roger. William doesn't even know what a pull-up is. I bet our team is going to look worse than ever. Mrs. snapped her angry fingers at us. That woman has ears like a hawk. Strong Frankie went first. The room eight teacher lifted him up to the high bar. Then, quick as a wink, he did a loud grunt, and he pulled his chin right up to the bar. One, hollered room eight. Strong Frankie did another grunt. Then he pulled himself up again. Two, shouted room eight. After that, he just kept right on going. Strong Frankie kept grunting and pulling, and room eight kept on counting. Three, four, five, six, seven. Finally, Strong Frankie dropped down to the ground. Seven, seven, Strong Frankie did seven, shouted New Thelma. Room nine sat down in the grass real gloomy. Because William was next, that's why. We covered our eyes and peeked through our fingers. Mrs. lifted him up to the pull-up bar. It was not fun to watch. Because William just kept dangling and dangling up there. And he didn't even move a muscle. Pretty soon, room eight started to laugh. It was loudish and meanish. I made a fist at those people. Hey, you want a piece of this? I shouted real mad. Mrs. snapped her fingers at me again. Then, all of a sudden, William kicked his legs a little bit. Then he kicked them again. And wowie, wow, wow, his chin went right up to the bar. And that is not even the best part, because as soon as he came down, he went right back up again. I springed up from the grass. Two, William, you did two pull-ups, and you didn't even grunt. I hollered very thrilled. William went up again. My mouth fell all the way open. Three, William, you did three. After that, all of room nine springed up from the grass too. Four, William, four, we shouted. Five, William, we shouted. Six, we shouted. Seven, eight, nine, ten, we shouted. William dangled for a little while longer. Then he kicked his legs one more time. And what do you know? Eleven! It was the happiest day of our whole entire kindergarten. When William dropped down, all of room nine piled on top of him. William! William! You did it! You did it! We hollered real joyfully. Pretty soon we heard a muffly voice. It said, Get off of me, I think. 
Then all of us got up, and we stood William on his feet. Room nine danced all around that guy. Also, we tried to lift him, lift him on our shoulders, because he was our hero, that's why. Only our shoulders kept on collapsing, plus William's shoes kicked us in the face. Then all of a sudden, a bright idea popped into my head. People, wait, I've got it, I've got it. I know how to show William he is our hero, I said. After that, I whispered my idea to Mrs. Guess what? She took the red cape right off my shoulders and she pinned it onto William's shoulders instead, just like I told her. William saved the day, I said. William is our superhero. His name should be Super William, I think. William smiled real big. Then he zoomed around on the playground and the cape flied behind him. Mrs. smiled. See, boys and girls, See what can happen if you don't give up on yourselves. Just then, William zoomed back to where we were. But I still don't get it, William, I said. How did you even do that? How did you do 11 pull-ups? Because those things are very hard. William smiled kind of shy. I practiced, that's how, he said. I got a pull-up bar for Christmas, and I practiced every day. Just then, William's daddy came hurrying over, and he put Super William on his shoulders. Then all of us marched to room nine. It was like a happy parade. And here's another happy thing. Our families came and ate cookies with us, and they were proud of how we did. My family hugged me very much. Then my Grandma Miller hugged Super William, too. And Grandpa Miller flew him all around in the air. Because William loved that cape, I tell you. And so guess what else? I didn't even ask for it back. Not for the whole rest of the day. This is being nice of me, I said to just myself. I'm being a good team captain. After that, I laughed right out loud. Because what do you know? I was tooting my own horn. The End Okay, boys and girls, let's take a look at our last field week activity. Today, we're focusing on mental health. I want you to stop and think about someone that you've been missing while we've been doing distance learning. And then I want you to take the time to let that person know that you're thinking about them and that you miss them. And you can do that a couple of different ways. You can write them a letter, you can send them a video, or you can call or even FaceTime them. 